So I've got my coil in the magnet, and now what I'm going to do is plug it in so that I can measure the voltage just generated across that coil. And I'm not seeing it right now, but I'm guessing that the answer is that you're not seeing much voltage generated across that coil. Right? So simply the presence of the magnetic field for those 15, 20 of you who answered that the presence of the field creates a voltage, simply the presence doesn't create a voltage in the loop. All right? I think I have more questions. You should. <coughs> First question is, did you explain your response to your neighbor? Well, I find out what's on the next slide. You can do that. <coughs> I'm going to go back to that slide again. Ask you to respond to, respond to the question, does the motion of a wire through a magnetic field induce a current in the loop or a voltage around the loop? Does the motion of a, uh, of a coil through a magnetic field induce a current through the loop. Oh. Yeah. Right. Slow today. Slower than normal. Does the motion of a coil through a constant magnetic field create a voltage? For this one, I'm just going to actually assert the answer because I can't do the exact experiment that I want. You can't, you can't input anymore. And the answer to this, which you'll find out in a few minutes, is no. Simply the motion of a coil in a magnetic, in a constant magnetic field, does not induce uh, voltage. Right? You will discover that in laboratory today. What you've got to do, now I'll tell you, is you've got to change the flux of the magnetic field through a coil in order to generate a voltage. So let me show you that, where we're actually going to change the flux. Connect up my wire. You probably saw the effect already, but let me uh, go through the motion now. Um, so I've got my magnetic field. The magnetic field is concentrated in this region between the two poles of the magnet. There is slight magnetic field outside of the poles of the magnet, and I can even pick up the, that as I move through it. So what I'm going to do now is change the flux of the magnetic field through this coil. Now I'll change the flux in the opposite direction. <coughs> that was increasing flux, decreasing flux, increasing flux, decreasing flux. Okay, so for one thing, we know that moving the coil through the magnetic field like so, changing the flux, uh, changes the, uh, induces a voltage or a current around this loop. Right? It's a strong magnet, so I suspect that I'm actually pinning the, uh, uh, the, the dial on the galvanometer here. And Professor Dwyer is cringing every time I pin the dial on the, on the galvanometer. That's a game that we play. They're just simply moving the coil like so. There is still flux through here, induced voltage. 